pretty cool to be doing cutting edge research in downtown Manhattan. The Center for Soft Matter Research is in Greenwich Village. We seek to do research that is in physics, but at the interface between physics, material science, biology, chemistry. We make things. We make things and we explore them and we discover from that. We take a distinctly physics approach to these problems, but it's fundamentally very interdisciplinary. There's no place that's better than this place. We teach collaboration to our graduate students fundamentally by example. They see that faculty interact with each other and collaborate. We share facilities, we share office spaces, there's a communal area where everybody goes for coffee and runs into everybody, where we argue, where we share our ideas, where we share our discoveries. One of the most interactive places there is. The research that's being done here covers a very broad spectrum of topics in soft condensed matter physics. My group at the Center for Soft Matter studies specifically the link between physics and biology. And what we try to do is build physical systems that are inanimate that mimic functionalities of those biological systems. The ultimate goal is not really just to build systems that look like biological ones, but it's to build a new framework in physics within which we can understand how those systems assemble. I do systems neuroscience. Uh, I use the Drosophila larva, the fruit fly uh, maggot, as, as a model. And what we're interested in is what are the elementary processes of computation that the larva is carrying out to, to do this. Because the neuron counts so low, we hope that we can actually simulate um, how that actual brain works um, is, is our ultimate goal, to get a working model of a brain. One of the subjects that I work on is the subject of DNA taking in the cells of our body. The question is how DNA is packed in the cell. This is a difficult question and it turns out that it's pure physics, also beautiful mathematics. And I'm working on something called the jamming transition. Essentially we're trying to understand how to, to put memory into the system and to use the fact that their physical property depends on their history to build useful materials. We have everything you need to do the physics, the chemistry, and downstairs biology. They're doing biophysics, and it just touches on so many different scientific fields, and it's, that's what makes it such a special place. You have the facility to really work on any aspect of soft matter material science that you're you're, you're interested in or curious about. We're willing to go outside of the traditional boundaries of physics. I love watching how several students and postdocs assemble around the blackboard and discuss something. It is the best possible school, not only for our students, but for professors as well. The coolest thing we're working on, I think, is artificial life. If we can create things that self-replicate, that evolve, that's an amazing step forward. And it's a basic question that mankind's asked forever. Where did we come from? How did life evolve? It's one of the things I'm most excited about right now is we've spent a great deal of effort on developing colloidal particles that have directional interactions and are able to do things that colloids haven't been able to do before. My group works on the interaction between light and soft matter. Small objects floating in fluids adrift, interacting with each other, and we try to change those interactions by uh, exerting forces with uh, specially sculpted beams of light, in particular with computer-generated holograms. My advisor is Professor David Greer, and it's great. I mean, we, he's always ready to help. What I like here is Everybody's very close together. It's very easy to contact everybody. You just knock on someone's door. They're going to come out. They're going to help you. There's an excitement here where we want to not merely stay on top of what's going on in soft condensed matter physics. We want to be the lab that defines what this field is about.